5G is the fifth generation mobile network, the latest global wireless standard that can connect virtually everyone and everything together, from mobiles and other devices to objects and machines. The massive network capacity will ensure there is almost no gap time between the time data is sent and received. India is facing plenty of hurdles while introducing the network. The 700 MHz band was priced very high during the airwave auction, such that only Mukesh Ambani-led Reliance Geo has been able to fulfill the asking price in the recent auction. Moreover, India does not have an adequate fibre network. This infrastructural hurdle is slowing down updates. Meanwhile, a handful of companies have captured intellectual property rights on 5G and 6G. In industries where connectivity matters, SEPs or standardized essential patents are needed to protect an industry's core technology and set international standards. Intellectual property rights matter because in the near future we will see connectivity integrated into products like automobiles as well. Connected vehicles will transform the way we look at transportation as a whole. 5G will also have an impact across other verticals like smart homes and smart medical devices. Whoever holds 5G SEPs can demand royalties for licensing them. The Chinese appear to have the largest number of patents related to 5G and 6G, especially in standard setting, led by Huawei, which holds the largest number of 5G patents. Huawei is followed by Sweden's Ericsson and Finland's Nokia, who account for 55% of standard setting contributions. But at the India Mobile Congress, it has been revealed that IIT Hyderabad, which is heading India's 6G project, has been granted some of the patents that will help set 6G standards. At the moment, Chinese companies and universities account for the biggest chunk of 6G patent applications. China made 6G a priority under its Made in China 2025 project, the result being that China tops the 6G list with 40.3% of the global patent filings, while the US follows with 35.2% and Japan with 9.9%. The University of Electronic Science and Technology of China launched the world's first 6G satellite in November 2021 while also providing financial and technical help to build networks in Africa and West Asia. Whether India will be able to pave its way or not in this segment, only time will tell.